Right, right. Is he writing his finger down Tony Hatton? It's just, just a fist. All right, I think we're ready to go. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name's uh, Rick Dodson. Uh, I'm the host of tonight's show. This is the first in a series of shows for GBGB TV. Uh, and tonight I'm uh, uh, privileged to welcome uh, Sheboygan's best local band, uh, Cedarwell, uh, to the show tonight. Uh, uh, over here uh, on guitar we have uh, uh, Eric Neve. Uh, on drums we have uh, Jared Beckman. Uh, and on lead guitar we have Jeff Paddling Growl. Close enough, close enough. Okay, I'm going to leave it to these guys. This is Cedarwell.
This one's called Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's about Grand Rapids, Michigan.
That was great, guys. Uh, uh, I'm really pleased uh, to have you uh, uh, on the first ever episode of CBGB TV. Uh, let me uh, take this opportunity to uh, ask you a few questions. Uh, uh, Eric, l let me start with you. Uh, I always identify this as uh, your band. Could you tell us a little bit about the origins of uh, Cedarwell? Sure. I uh, used to be in a band called Amalgam. It's a local band from Sheboygan as well with high school buddies. And then uh, we moved to Boston for about three years. Um, came back to Sheboygan and then the, the other members kind of split off and me and another drummer started Cedarwell mm -hmm. in 2005 I think it was or six yeah and then Jared joined in when the other drummer went back to school all right and Jeff has also been kind of in and out of Cedarwell for a while helping me re with recordings he's from Brooklyn New York and uh, I met him in 06 well, uh, Jeff, I know you're a, a, a touring musician as well, and you play with other people. Uh, how did you first come across uh, uh, Eric and Cedarwell? Uh, well, we were on a bill randomly. I play uh, solo a lot. I have a solo project, and uh, I, was, I had a solo show in, in Brooklyn, and randomly we were placed on the same bill. They were on tour, and I somehow got there early enough and saw their set, and I usually my friends just cut would come out to see me play, but I called them immediately, <laughs> like, you have to come down to, this to the club and see these guys, because they're awesome. And we just hung out that night, became fast friends, started exchanging shows, and then I came out to Sheboygan for a visit, and then the rest is, <laughs> you know. Well, you gotta love Sheboygan, right? You gotta love Sheboygan. Uh, but Jared, you're an outsider, right? So you're from uh, Oostburg. Uh, uh, how did you come to be the, uh, uh, the drummer in this band? Eric was, uh, Eric said the drummer had gone to college for soil si science, and uh, my brother Luke designed the uh, album art for uh, for the Gamboge album, which was the last album he did with mm -hmm. Joel Stodic, who was his previous drummer, and uh, I was in the house, and Eric had heard me playing drums, I would consider fairly poorly <laughs> upstairs, <laughs> but he, 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 uh, he, he asked me at, at the, shortly after um, the album was finished if I would maybe come or if I'd be interested in trying some things with him and then things were grew from there. And that was when I was playing drum set before this setup. Okay, well that is a notable thing about your, your, your drumming. Uh, I had seen you uh, sing and uh, play guitar and perform uh, as a solo artist before I saw you join Cedarwell. Uh, but when you did, you certainly played drums in a distinctive fashion. Is there any reason why you chose not to play a regular kit? Uh, not, not really. Mo I, I guess I said, should say the reason was I've, Eric was playing. Uh, the, uh, the music was not quite as uh, rock and roll as it is now, mm -hmm. so we were trying to break down the drum set, sort of. Mm -hmm. um, then I found this old, uh, like fifties um, uh, uh, Ludwig floor tom, and it had a nice sound. So we tried just playing, using it somehow, mm -hmm. and then over time. This setup just kind of grew, and then I started bringing in stuff from my drum set, and to to be able to fulfill some of my my ideas to be implemented in the music. Yeah, well, it, it sounds great, and I've watched it grow. Uh, and and you make a good point. Cedarwell's music has become kind of more raucous uh, and rocky, maybe since uh, Jeff's been around. Uh, uh, there's, there seems to be a lot of location in your music, Eric. You sing about place. Uh, I know you're just about to leave town. Uh, uh, are we going to get to hear about other places in your music? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, I think art is just, you know, an expression of your experience in the world and you're kind of boiling it down and making a, a song or a piece of work. So for me, it's a really natural expression to just include places, states, nature, you know, experiences I've had. 
always just made sense to me. But. Well, the music is beautiful, and uh, uh, I'm proud uh, to be from the same uh, uh, town as uh, uh, Cedarwell. Uh, I think we have uh, five minutes left, so uh, uh, we're going to uh, run through uh, uh, one, or one more song, I guess, uh, uh, and then uh, uh, we'll bring it to a close. But uh, this is uh, Shibijibi TV, and my name's Rick Dodgson. Uh, look for shibijibi.com uh, to find out more, uh, and hopefully we'll have more shows uh, coming up featuring uh, the best of Sheboygan's uh, music uh, and art and culture. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Rick. Thanks, Rick. This one's called Like the Water. It's about Lake Michigan.
Thank you.